So when we say we need to take care of my soul, it hurts. So I'm living for just myself, but I anyway have to take care of my soul. Because sometimes we think that a soul is the part of me. It's not me, we think, but it's a part that does not even belong to me. So what, what's going to help me to see that the soul does not just belong to me, but I am this soul? And why does it happen? It's like we all understand that this is a soul and this is supposed to be me, but we kind of separate it from ourselves. So self-identification with your body, this is an illusion. It all happens with help of illusion. That's why a person confuses these notions. He confuses himself with his soul. And if you examine the physical body, even try to understand what the center of all these life energies is, what the consciousness is, which this place, usually a person thinks that this is the head, the brain. So all the scientists, they examine the brain and they all think that this is the center of life support. But it's not the soul. It, I mean, the soul does not belong to this brain. It uses the brain as a computer. That's why this computer has this audio system, video system, and all these receptors, taste receptors, and skin. Everything is connected to the nervous system. We all have a whole bunch of all these receptors that go along all these nervous ends, and then the brain, it sends our, out some other signals to the body. This consciousness, it all perceives everything with help of experience. If there's no experience in our consciousness, the person will not be able to understand what's happening around him. For example, if you show a book, a whole scripture to a dog, you will not understand what it is. But if you show it a bone, it will realize what it is immediately, because that's its experience. But whole, whole scriptures or this creature is out of its experience. It sees it, but it does not realize its essence, its importance. But a person has this ability to realize the things by giving them some names. For example, this book, what is it about? Its content? So the person might even understand what his book is about by just its title, using his experience. If he's got some spiritual experience, you will understand more questions about life. And an animal cannot get some experience because its consciousness is limited, but a person is gaining this right to develop his consciousness, to spiritually understand who I am and understand my relationship with God. It's all included in our program. If you want to develop, we have this ability. Am I understanding you correctly that a soul that having this physical body, it may realize that I'm not this body. Yes, of course, sometimes it happens. Uh, when a person starts thinking about death, he starts realizing that this body is temporary. But me? No, I'm not going to die. I don't want to die. So myself does not want to die, but this body is doomed to be dead. But my consciousness does not agree to that. So you see, there is this is an obvious difference. What does it mean when a soul is sleeping? If I am a soul, you see, my physical body blinks, it sleeps. I know what it's like to sleep. So you lie in bed, your head is turned. Side words. So what does it mean when we say that a soul is sleeping? Having some dreams, it just lives in your mind, thanks to the imagination of your mind. So I'm going to be happy if I make enough money to buy this car. So I'll be happy if I marry this girl. I'll be happy if I become rich. These are called dreams. You will not find any person having a good wife, a lot of money, and he's happy. In a full understanding of this word, you can call him a person that is living in comfort on a physical level, but you can call no one being fully happy. No person can be fully happy. This is just an illusory understanding. I can be full in terms of food, I can be healthy, 
We can be joyful, but there's something, there's always something that I lack. Even if there's something I need or want in this material world and I have it, but there's always something that will be lacking. The sense of life, the sense of myself. Why do I have this wealth? Why do I have this family? What's the purpose of it? If everything is temporary, when I start thinking about it, I cannot find any sense to that, any meaning. So that's why these are our dreams, this is our imagination, our plans. In all these 2000 years, today is 2021, I haven't seen any happy person on this planet who could say that I have reached the perfection and there's nothing for me else to do. We haven't had any example of this person. Try to find, nowadays, this happy person. Ask people, are you happy? What is happiness? You will not find an obvious answer. You know, I've asked this question a lot when I was giving some public uh, lectures. So ask these people, who can say that right now you're happy? You see, people that didn't raise their hands, well, there were about two or three people, they were newly married, and, uh, well, it wasn't just, you know, very convenient for them to say that they are not happy right after the marriage, and then you say they are not married, I'm not happy, that would be suspicious, right? So they raised their hands, not very confident. And then I ask another question. Who is sure that they will be happy in the future? And all people raise their hands because everybody lives in the illusion. They will think that this happiness will come someday in the future, but not now. So this is the material understanding of happiness. So Vedas gives us a comparison of a donkey following a carriage. So he's loaded with some cargo ride. So he sees this carriage, he's following it. He thinks that, okay, a few more steps, I'm going to catch it. A few more steps, I'm going to catch it. So he, the donkey can be doing it for the whole day. Sometimes we are just like this donkey. Sometimes we are trapped. Glory and power and money. That's a big carrot, right? It's very attractive. It's an attractive carrot. And we've been following this carrot all our lives. Peace and money and all this stuff. We do not even understand that this is just an illusion. This is just a dream of our soul.